What if I told you that the YouTube videos you are watching and you are creating can be transformed into multiple social media posts without you doing the heavy lifting? Imagine you having an Instagram or TikTok account and while you're sleeping, interesting clips from various YouTube videos get uploaded while you're sleeping. Hello, my name is Elvito if you are new here and I help people automate their repetitive tasks using AI and automation. Today I'm very happy to share with you this workflow that will help content creators to scale and not here to scale, you don't need to work hard, you just need to work smart. Now this workflow will help them post uh, interesting clips from various YouTube videos with you sleeping. Now to achieve this, I've created two workflows that will be helping us automate uh, the repetitive uh, task involved. And the first one is AI powered identification. Now in this part, we will leave everything to AI. Basically, uh, this automation will be receiving the YouTube link and it will be getting the transcript from search API. And then we'll feed our transcript to our AI model and we will just uh, prompt it to give us the interesting parts. And after it giving the, the interesting parts, we'll download them using uh, YTDLP, which is a library to download uh, videos online. And we'll transform them to our uh, aspect ratio, depending on your social media, if you want your video to be uh, in portrait or in landscape, we'll then save the video to uh, a cloud service. I have three of them here that you can find in my workflows and we'll save all the information to Google Sheets. Then after saving, we have then our schedule trigger, which will be scheduling posts to our Instagram and we'll be posting all of those interesting clips. Now, the problem with this uh, a workflow, which is the first one I created, is that even though the AI models are very intelligent, they sometimes don't give us the real interesting parts inside our inside our YouTube video. That's why I created another tool on my GitHub repository. And basically, this is open source. It's a YouTube repurpose web. Basically, what it will be doing will have an interface to just clip our video. Now, remember these kind of things online, they charge you a lot of money, but if you can find it open source, you will be saving a lot and creating more. And basically this is the only hard work we'll be doing. And when we save the clip, we will use then this from assistant to clipper, and it will basically do all the job from clipping the video and downloading all the clips and saving them to the cloud and scheduling the Instagram posting, all of that will be done by the workflow. You can calculate yourself all the time you'll be spending. And those are the two workflows. Hopefully they will help a lot of people. Let's dive in. Now, without further ado, let me first explain the first workflow, which will be the AI powered identification. We leave everything to AI and the workflow will be triggered by a simple form where we'll submit uh, uh, a YouTube link YouTube video link and we'll select an aspect ratio, which will be between 69, 9 to 16, which is for TikToks and Reels or Shorts, 4 to 5 if it's, if it's for Instagram post and 1 to 1. And basically, after receiving all of that, we'll get the video ID. I have the code to get the video ID using any kind of YouTube link received. We'll then use search API to generate the transcripts of the whole video. We need all that transcript because that's the data we are going to be feeding the LLM model. And that's the next part. We'll uh, give all the transcripts to our LLM model and it will basically uh, find the interesting uh, parts for us. But uh, unfortunately, sometimes it's not like uh, generating the interesting, it's generating the boring. Parts, but uh, prompt engineers here, I know some of you are prompt engineers, you can help me like uh, give it a good prompt, maybe that's what I'm missing. And I gave it a structured output, of course, which would be an array of objects uh, containing the start second, the end seconds, the title, which I will use as the caption before posting, and the script. And after that, we'll split out all that array and we'll loop through over them because these are like long running tasks that I want to like detect if each was completed successfully. And we will then place a command to download the YouTube video. We're going to be use YTDLP, which is a library to download online videos. Now in my uh, school, I have the full installation. I'm running it locally. That's where you will run it. And 
you can download the Docker installation and just Docker Compose app and everything will be up running. Then after downloading the clip, as you can see, it received the start seconds and the end seconds. It will save it to the disk, but then we need to transform it to our aspect ratio. We don't need to be posting it and the social media telling us you posted the wrong format or the wrong aspect ratio. That's why depending on the choice from the form, if it's uh, 9 to 6 or 6 to 9 or 4 to 3, we'll be choosing uh, how to like render a video. I'm using FFmpeg. It's a powerful library to render the videos. And after that, we will read it from the disk because we have to save it to our cloud. We don't need to be losing it after we press Docker Compose down. And I'm using AWS S3. This is my favorite one, but my school community members, some of them prefer other ones. That's why I added Google Drive and I have all the authentication process in my school community. You can go ahead and join and start using it. And also Dropbox. I saw some few uh, members use Dropbox. We'll then, after saving to our uh, cloud, we'll save all the information to our Google Sheet, which will include the video URL, the status, and the caption. And after saving, now we have all our videos waiting to be posted. We need to place a scheduler to be taking all of them and posting them. Now, that's why here I have a scheduler. It will be scheduled eight hours. That's how I, I like chose it. We have a Google sheet to detect them. And here I chose to return only the first matching row, which is of course status pending. And it will uh, only return only one element. So every eight hours, I will post one element. We will then uh, create media. This is the process of posting on Instagram. We wait and we publish the media. Now here I forgot, of course, to update my Google Sheet. We can, of course, add it and update it. Now, after this, the problem actually, as I told you, is that the clips generated by the AI sometimes are not interesting, sometimes are boring. That's how, why we need to do a little bit of hard work, but I'm going to show you how you'll be saving also a lot of time and also a lot of money because the tools online, of course, they will charge you a lot of money. Now, to improve that, as we also, the AI is not that intelligent, I created this uh, workflow, which will be uh, integrating a webhook, we'll be getting data from the webhook. And basically, we need an outside tool that will help us to choose the clips and just send it to our automation so that it helps us download the clips and save them to a Google Sheet with us doing nothing. And that's why with the little skills that I have on web development, I use Next.js to build apps very quick. And I have a full, as this will be open source, I will open source after this video, of course. You will uh, need to fork it and deploy it to Adversary account. Just follow this uh, instruction and it's free to actually host on Vercel. On free tier, you can host your app if as this kind of app will not have a lot of traffic and you can uh, manage it on your own. And basically what it will help us here, I have a simple video. I will paste in, okay, I will have to reload the page and I call it Vito IT Repurpose. You can rename it the way you want and we'll share monetized YouTube content. You will have to uh, enter the YouTube URL, load the video. After loading the video, we'll choose the clips. We can play it up here. I don't want to play it for uh copyright issues will then enter the title which can be any thing that we'll use of course for the caption and i'm sorry for the file name we have also the caption and we will save to my clips and if you see here it's saved and what we have to do here is to come here and watch our full clip. Oh my God, it's playing now. We'll then choose a, the aspect ratio that we want and we will save to my clips. And basically when I click to save my clips, I will have to choose the webhook URL. Now to get the webhook URL, you have to come here. If you are in production, you can copy it. If you are testing, you can copy this one, but you should be in production. Then the following workflow is the same as the previous one. So the webhook, uh, to explain more, 
what it will be doing, it will be give us the same uh, data format as what the AI was like giving out. And if you analyze from this part of split out and this part of split out after the LLM, all the other steps are the same. That's why I didn't go through all of them. So basically we needed a way to integrate uh, something which was visual that which would help us to like clip our video very easily without relying uh, all on the AI and save our clips. And after saving, let the automation do all the work that's remaining and also posting them on schedule. So I think that's all the uh, YouTube repurpose web is open source and anyone can use it. You can go ahead and deploy it. I have, I prefer that people uh, deploy it on Verse as it's free. But if you are, of course, good with, uh, if, if you are familiar with the Next.js or any node development, you can uh, install it locally and use it locally. And you'll have this beautiful view where you can clip all your videos and integrate them with uh, this webhook and clip them and save them to the cloud and post them later. So I think that's all for today's video. Uh, if you find any issue with this, of course, project, you can report it here. I, I build it very, very fast. And yeah, in my school community, I have a step to step uh, inside the content repurposing automation uh, on how to install it. And for both workflows, I have the uh, the JSON workflow that you can copy and paste in your NetN. And basically, if a lot of people are interested in this content repurposing, as you can see, we started with uh, YouTube source. We will, of course, continue to grow it so that a lot of people can use it and save a lot of time and money. And also this uh, YouTube repurpose web, if I see a lot of people are using it, of course, we will increase it. I'm planning to add also captions so that you can uh, have uh, stylic uh, social media posts like those we see on reels or shorts where you have on top captions that are animated so basically that's it and hopefully it was very useful and if you have any question you can comment down below and don't forget to like subscribe and share to other enthusiasts see you in the next one